Hi, I'm Gretchen Hirsch. I'm a sewing blogger and author. I also design fabric and sewing patterns. Today I'm going to talk about how to use eyelets in your designs. So I want to use this dress as an example. This dress, um, I modeled after a vintage dress I found in a shop that was this sweet little pink dress from the 50s with this corset lacing and then this blousey effect, um, sort of dirndl effect on the bust and then the skirt, which I immediately loved. And the best thing about it is, I think, is these eyelets that you lace the cord through, through the midriff. So I wanted to recreate this for one of my patterns. This is just a simple midriff design. So you can see underneath this corset overlay, there is the same sort of shape on this dress, but just in the yellow polka dot fabric. So what I did to create this pattern piece was just sort of copy that and then create a gap down the center. You need to cut four of this piece. Your pattern piece is gonna look kind of like this. You're gonna cut four of this piece because you need two on each side. You're also going to want to interface this. Um, you can interface just one side of it or you can do both depending on how much stiffness you feel you need. You definitely, anytime you're working with eyelets, you're going to want to reinforce with interfacing in some way. It does create some stress on the fabric as you're gonna see. We actually create holes in the fabric and then set the eyelets into it. So we wanna make sure that we have some sturdiness there and that we're not going to actually damage the fabric to the point where it's going to start to abrade or shred later on during wearing. So very important to reinforce that area with interfacing. So I've done that on this yellow fabric. You can see on the back, I have just a really sheer trico interfacing in white. This is one of my favorite sort of all purpose interfacing. It works great for lots of things. And it works great doubled up too, because you don't get too much heaviness there. This is a nice light sateen, so you don't want to use something that's really opaque or stiff. So we're going to set some practice eyelets into this. And very important, just like when you're doing buttonholes, anything like that, you want to make sure that you're going to do a practice round first. I guarantee the one time you decide not to do the practice round is the time that you're going to mess it up and you're going to have some results that you don't want on your garment. And these kinds of things are pretty hard to reverse, especially when you're making actual holes in your fabric. So let's go ahead and do a practice round. On your pattern piece, you should have, um, you should already have marked, or if you bought this pattern, you will have marked on your pattern piece where those eyelets are going to be set. There's gonna be four eyelets down the center of it. An easy way to transfer those markings is to use an awl. So sometimes this comes with sewing machine kits. Sometimes you can just go out and buy it. Um, it's a pretty common tool. It just has a pointy end that you can press through here to create a little bigger hole. So a great way, great and easy way to do this is to just use one of these disappearing ink pens. Place the pattern right on top of the fabric and then now that you have the hole there that you made with the awl, you can just put the tip of the pen through there and you'll transfer your mark. You don't want a mark that's too big because we just need a little point here which will help us set this eyelet. Okay. So now I have four little spots, which is where I would be setting the eyelets on the dress, but this is gonna be my practice round. Now let's look at the tools involved in this. As I said, there is an eyelet plier. It looks like this, it closes just like a, a set of pliers, uh, but it has specialty bits up here. One side is kind of knobby like this, the other side has a little dish with an indentation. You place an actual eyelet into the pliers and it kind of squishes it down and grabs onto the fabric. The eyelets look like this. They come in a lot of different sizes. This is 5 30 seconds of an inch, which is actually a really common eyelet size and you'll find it um, in your local fabric store. You'll find these in silver everywhere. You can also find some colors. Now, when I was working on this yellow dress here, I definitely wanted white to blend in with those white polka dots. Um, I think I had nine and I needed 10 or something like that. So in the middle of my project, I realized I was out of white eyelets. But I also realized that I had some white nail polish in my bathroom, and it is super easy to paint these with nail polish. Um, so this is a really good thing to know because nail polish, and if you're like me and you hoard nail polish, you probably have a lot of colors at home. If not, you can find greens, blues, black, every color under the rainbow at your local drugstore. So let's talk about how you would actually paint these. It's very simple, but it's kind of like doing surgery. You're gonna grab one of these, 
place it on a surface with something over it. And tweezers are very important. These are gonna be your friend here. Some nail polish, give it a nice little shake. So this is a lovely pink color, which you could do if you wanted to, to pop away from the yellow a little bit more. So make sure you don't have too much on there. And then you're going to grab the eyelet with the tweezers from the bottom there and keep it flat. And then just paint on top. These should probably be tweezers that you don't care too much about because you probably are going to paint them. And you can see even now how I got a really nice finish on this eyelet. And you can go back and do a second coat. This is just like doing a manicure. You have to be very, very patient for it to dry. And again, if you're anything like me, you're probably not patient and you try to set it in too quickly and you're gonna get smudges on your nail polish. I would really advise you to wait overnight with this and let it dry because think about it, we're gonna be putting into the set of pliers. You're definitely going to be smudging that nail polish if you try to do this too soon. So maybe go on to the next part of the dress and then come back to this when your nail polish is dry. So let's move our beautiful pink eyelet over to the side and we're going to move on to setting the eyelets into our sample here. We have our holes marked. You're going to use the eyelet plier itself to punch the holes. What you wanna do is that flat disc side, you're going to center that over one of the holes, or I'm sorry, over one of the points that you marked there. And then the knobby side, I tried to learn the technical terms for these, but I didn't. So the knobby side is going to be on the bottom. This will actually punch into the fabric. So give it a nice squeeze there. And when you take it away, you should see a little bit of fabric, a little circle there that pulls away from it. And it is possible that there might be some there that didn't quite cut away. In which case you can always take some small scissors and cut away the extra fabric. Okay, so what we have is a nice little hole there. You're going to take one of these eyelets and from the right side of your project, okay, the side that's going to be looking out at the world, you're going to place the eyelet into the hole that you just made. If it's not quite going in there, you can open up the hole a little bit more with your awl. But mine is going in pretty nicely. On the back, I'm just sort of pushing away some extra threads. So you can see I have that sort of saucer side down on the fabric and it's pushed in there. Okay, so again, I'm going to place the flat side of the pliers on top of the fabric and then I'm gonna squeeze together and this is what's going to actually set the eyelet into place. So there you go, we have it all set. So let's look at one more and that's not moving. So you wanna kind of move around a little bit just to make sure that you've set it in successfully. All right, so again, when you're making the first hole, make sure that you use the disc side down on top of your mark. This is where we're punching the fabric with a hole. So you should see a little, a little circle of fabric coming out here. You might need to trim it down if you have two kind of thick layers there. Grab your eyelet. Push it into the hole. Grab your pliers again, flat side down. The little knob goes up through the eyelet and then give it a good squeeze. So there we go, we have two eyelets set. As you can see, this is incredibly easy. I couldn't believe how easy it was to do at home myself and get a nice result. There are lots of things you can do with this and it is very easy to do yourself at home. So I hope you're inspired to use eyelets in your next design.